Hey, hey, everybody, what is up? Sean Hatzel here, Get Lean in 12. They call me the Rip Grandpa. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to talk about bananas. I've been seeing some videos and some paid ads that are going viral across YouTube right now about why you should avoid bananas because they'll make you store more fat because there's too much sugar in them. This is very, very misleading, and I'm going to tackle it inside this video. You see, the greener banana, the less sugar it has. So as a banana ripens, the resistant starch in a green banana slowly converts into glucose, and as a spotted ripe banana has way more sugar. Now, you can eat a green banana by itself anytime that you want, and it can actually help you accelerate weight loss because the resistant starch and the low sugar content will not impact insulin. In fact, that resistant starch will feed your gut healthy bacteria, and research shows that people who eat more resistant starch burn more fat. So there's myth number one about a banana. A green banana doesn't even spike insulin because it doesn't have sugar in it. Now, if you make the choice to eat a spotted ripe banana, my personal preference, because they're sweeter, that resistant starch is now converted into glucose, so it is higher in sugar. So here's the solution. You're gonna simply try to eat it in the post-workout window whenever possible, and if you're not eating it in the post-workout window, or if you are, you always wanna combine it with a protein source because this will help stabilize the insulin spike. If you eat a ripe banana all by itself, it can spike insulin because of the sugar content. Well, that insulin puts the body in a fat storing environment. So just keep this in mind. If you're going to eat a ripe banana all by itself, you wanna probably try to get some type of exercise in within an hour or two afterwards, or it could potentially spike your insulin levels. Now, if you're one of those people who wants to eat a banana with like some nut butter, like some raw almond butter, some raw peanut butter, or cashew butter, proceed with caution. This can be a tricky combination. You see, when you eat a ripe banana and it spikes insulin and you have the fat with it, now insulin, which is a storage hormone, could take that fat and potentially store it. So the solution is to try to keep your fat grams under 15 grams when you're eating a high sugar carbohydrate with any type of friendly fat. And of course, throwing some protein in there is always gonna help you. Protein is the number one nutrient you should be eating in every meal because your body burns more calories digesting protein than it does when it digests carbs or fat. So protein should be eaten in every single meal. This is gonna curb your cravings. It's gonna increase your metabolic rate. And it's gonna preserve and pre muscle and prevent muscle loss. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, click the like button, drop a comment below. If you have questions, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. We provide all kinds of video like this. Thanks for watching and keep going strong.